Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at Full Limit Break Catalina. Now, I wanted to take on a harder raid, but for this video, I will only also look at Banter. So you can tell I took on the original outfit, Vera and, and Lyra. So, um, with this, I'm hoping to see, to see if the, any updates to her Banter with the four star, I mean the five star. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll probably do a harder fight in the future, but for now, I really wanted to see if there was any banter update. Now, with her full limit breaks, she did gain quite a new, uh, quite a bit of new things. So first thing she gains is TA up on her Ogi, which is really nice. So now she gives multi attack and water attack up, pretty much making Quatre a dead unit. It's like, like, did they forget Quatre exists? Like, did uh, feels feels Quatre man, feels bad dude. But that's one thing they also gave her a water bonus damage on her skill one, which is really nice. She's right here. So she gets bonus damage, it's for two turns. And they upgraded her multi attack, her triple attack to, uh, to two turns. Next, they gave her skill to a uh, dispel cancel, which is right here. Um, I forgot to mention it, but I hit it. It got the spell cancel, which is really nice. Her skill three gets no change, the same skill as always. But she gains a new skill four, which gets substitute on one ally for four turns. It had the long cooldown though, eight turns, but can be extended thanks to her skill. I think to her passive. Whenever she multi gets a triple attack, she gains a nuke at the end of the turn, and she gains a extension of one turn towards her skill four. So it's really good. Um, she also gains another passive buff, whereas hers. Passive before she gains sharp attack boost now turns into sharp attack and defense boost if they're a null element damage cut up. So it's really that's really okay. Uh, it's probably better in a group with like multiple Spartans, but it's not bad at all. We're gonna use these skills here. Oh, we can use. Burner. I kind of forget I could call two summons in one turn when I run this team. And we didn't get the Ogi off, huh? I'm like barely awake, I'll be honest with you guys right now. So I'll have to Ogi again. I'm not falling that. I thought I had it up. To be honest, it's not the first time we recording this. <clears throat> I'm, I may have made mistakes and forgot the prime mark on my first video. Just saying. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I, I may have made a couple of mistakes here and there, you know, forgetting a Primark. Uh, you'll be able to see the dispel cancel at uh, 10. Cause the boss, this boss does dispel you at 10%. So right there, you'll be able to see it. We'll use the attack buff here. And we should be able to, we should be able to almost get this kill the bird. Turn her charge attack on this time. They we didn't crit nothing, huh? Unfortunate. So you see there, she gets triple attack, gets the nuke at the end of turn. 300k, 400k, it's not that bad of a nuke. It's no Kalulu, I'll tell you that. I can definitely tell you that. It ain't no Kalulu. But it, 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 it gets the job done, right? And I, I guess that's good enough in a way. So let's see how this goes, this Ogi. They did give her an Ogi a big upgrade. Also, her stance changed quite a bit. It's really cool. I don't know where the blast's coming from below, but it works, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Right, here we go this oh maybe we should have used vera skill too there actually we don't have any debuffs right now we have a little bit but not like a ton let's use vera skill too here so we get a little bit more debuffs oh uh, okay cool Yeah, the lack of debuffs is making our damage look pretty boo-boo. Oh, there you go. I'll fix that. As long as we hit. 
えーそう、right now、uh, Catalina should do good damage here because he has the Phoenix buff I could be wrong though but I believe she should do good damage after we've got our Ogi with her actually yeah unfortunately her passive doesn't increase her cap I kind of wish they made it so that it increased the cap but um that's unfortunate and the substitute had ran out it's another thing we have to notice here while it does get the extensions I'm running more of a Kango build she's not getting the triple attacks out so that's one thing you got you got to mention when you think about with her that she's not going to get the triple attacks off which is kind of a big bummer in a, in a way because he's going to ob too much right so if this you would if you were to run her in a kango comp she's not going to be able to triple attack nearly as much as you would like her to because she's going to be ogying every turn That's a nice little 5 million Ogi. So we are this so actually I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I want I wanna see how good she targets here. I think this should be an AoE, right? Yeah, she takes no damage. Hmm. It'll be it'll probably be a better showcase in uh Fa. Where like we, we take an Ebelis, I guess a good, a good example. We'll get a better look at it there. That's like the most common like AOE move in Fa. It's Ebelis. Uh, I can't really think of anything else too much. Oh, you know what? You can redirect the um the, his single target non overdrive. Ogi, it does a ton of damage. Um, the only only problem though is I don't know how well Catalina will tank that Ogi, so that could be kind of risky, I think. But if she could tank it well, I think it's worth it. But I, I can't tell you without like trying it out, see how well she, her defense buff is with her Phoenix up. If it's something huge like Kalulu tear, she should be able to tank it. But that's only if it's like Kalulu tear. If it's not Kalulu tear, she's not gonna have enough defense to tank that hit. Cause I believe it's around like 60 to 70 K raw damage right to your face. So it's, it's kind of rough. We're coming up to the 10. So we should be getting dispelled soon. Definitely not the fastest run I've ever done in my life. But I mean, the team comp is... <laughs> well, not something I would call a... Uh, good team. <laughs> I, I think calling it good would be a very big understatement. Actually, I'm kind of sad that they didn't make Catalina skill 3 at least 30%. Because if if it was 30, right, you could have stacked it with Gabriel to get a 100% damage cut. I, I wonder if that's why they didn't do it, though. Because they know you could stack it. So they're like, since you, they know you could stack it, they're not going to give you that benefit. Could be possible. Like, Grand Blue likes to make things a little bit harder on the players if they can. Oh, we get a full turn from that, didn't we? Oh, did we kill it? I was not expecting to kill it. Oh, we killed it. Oh. Absolute zero! <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> Honestly, I was not expecting that. It was fun, I, using this team. Um, it didn't, I didn't really hear anything different that I haven't heard before. I don't speak Japanese, right? It, it's not my language, so... Maybe there is a difference, but I didn't really hear anything that I haven't heard before. Generally, like there's some characters where you, like you hear a totally different line, you'll notice it instantly if you use them a lot. I used this team a couple times before, so I haven't. I didn't hear anything different, so maybe there's nothing different. Um, 
Maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me in the comments. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I should be doing a far run in the future. I'm going to sleep. It's like 3 a.m. I'm tired. So uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.